Hi, this is Leo and we're here in Jack from the Korea and US Startup Summit 2022 in Pier 17 in New York. And in a global collaboration between Le Café du Geek, me, a French media and Eving News, we're doing the first interview of the day with Greenwell Global. Hi. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Can you introduce us the company, please? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, my name is TK. I'm a CEO. I'm a CEO of Greenwell Global, and we are producing bioplastic resins for us to substitute the conventional plastic right now. So right here is uh, your product, right? Yes, yes. So can you maybe tell us uh, how you make this and what is your uh, technology behind? So uh, bioplastic is uh, plastic that could degrade in nature uh, in normally less than six months. Mm -hmm. um, our plastic is uh, can replace almost all conventional plastics. Um, as you can see products here, this is a product that's made with our own plastic mm -hmm. and this is conventional plastic using the same mold, mm -hmm. no changes uh, in machinery or uh, settings. Um, you'll be able to produce uh, products that can dissolve in nature with uh, very little uh, time in comparison to con conventional plastic. Uh, the same thing goes with uh, products such as these. Uh, we're trying to go into cosmetic, the cosmetic okay. industry, uh, 3D printing, um, and most importantly, we're also going into... Um, disposable plastic. Disposable plastic, exactly. Mm. So, I mean, you know, with Corona, a lot of people started using a lot of uh, takeout, yeah. um, eating out, um, even cutlery, things like that. Uh, so we've had a lot of traction uh, in Korea, and we're here to expand our reach to the U.S., where conventionally, a lot of people, uh, when they throw out their, their plastic, it actually ends up in landfills, yeah. as opposed to being recycled or incinerated. That's very true. So, yeah. So um, our main target is uh, is countries such as the U.S. or Europe, where regulations are starting to kick in, and uh, with that, we'll be able to expand exponentially from where we are right now. That, that's very good. Yeah, because every day when we're eating out, we're using uh, plastic and throwing it away, and then knowing in the U.S. they don't recycle almost at all. Exactly. So it's just one trash <laughs> for everything. That's very bad. Exactly. I know in Korea you do much more recycling, but yeah. <laughs> even with that, it's recycling is better to just be biodegradable. Well, I mean, the thing with recycling is uh, it's not economically sound. Mm -hmm. uh, the main, main issue is, though you are recycling, all you're doing is you're delaying the issue That's to true. another you know, decade or so. Um, when we use biodegradable plastic, it just goes back to nature. Um, every ingredient in here is non-toxic, uh, doesn't have um, like anything that's chemical. So in the end, it just goes back to where it came from. Um, you know, only humans produce products that are um, that are non-dissolvable in nature. Yeah. Uh, radioactive materials, plastics, things like that. Um, whereas if you replace it with biodegradable plastic, that issue, instead of trying to um, change consumer behavior, the product itself, they use it just the way they used to in the past. The convenience is there, the price, that's where why we're here. Uh, we offer uh, products that are uh, priced competitively, okay. even with conventional plastic. Okay, that, that was a question I was going to ask, because if we want the people to move towards a more sustainable solution, they need to be uh, either a similar price or lower price to Correct. be able to go to. So your solution is uh, offering a uh, is offered as a price under the plastic price, normal plastic um, price or it's similar? It's comparable to conventional plastic, okay. uh, but the main um, advantage here is that we're cheaper than any other alternative that are okay. currently known. Um, I mean, there may be other developments, but the core feedstock of our product is pro our products that are vastly available, mm -hmm. uh, which makes our sourcing very easy, yeah. um, and we can grow uh, on a scale that, uh, that is comparable to plastic. Okay, that's amazing. Um, I have one uh, last question because we're here in this show. What do you expect from the show? Uh, this just started, so we didn't have time to maybe make business here, but what do you expect from the show here? Uh, we'd like to leave a lasting impact uh, on people that are present here and even uh, that are going to see us through the news yeah. or YouTube. Um, if we have that type of impact and show that we um, that we have a product that is available, 
Um, a lot of people don't even know that these types of products exist. Um, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to reach out to the audience um, to, to be able to expand on our, on our uh, technology. Okay. I really hope uh, you will meet your goal here. I really meet you. I hope you will meet a lot of people and uh, will be help you grow. And maybe in some days I will use uh, your product when I, I get some dairy food. No, we're actually uh, thinking of uh, moving a little bit of our uh, you know expansion to France as well. So maybe we'll see you there. Yeah, we can talk <laughs> about that later. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for the interview. Thank and you. see you for other interview at the Korean US uh, Startup Summit 2022. Thank you.